Time for today's top business story. And Andrew Bell joins us from BNN Bloomberg. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Okay, so there's a big announcement. There's another big uh, beverage company yeah. that wants to get in on the cannabis market. That's right. Anheuser Busch, InBev, the world's biggest brewer, mm -hmm. is signing a research deal. Now, it's not a major investment at this stage with Tilray, which is a company officially based in BC, uh, growing operations there. Uh, the tie up is to work on research for yeah. cannabis infused, non alcoholic. Uh, uh, drinks. Right. Um, so it's only research at this stage. Each company plans to put in up to $50 million US, and they are stressing it's limited to Canada mm. because, of course, InBev doesn't want to get offside with Washington, right. which is still resolutely opposed to marijuana. And you've got uh, the Molson Coors is already in on this sort of. On a research deal yeah. with Hexo, the Montreal company. Yeah. That's right. You and I were talking before the break because uh, uh, both companies, their, their stock is up in. in in after hours or pre... We saw Tilray moving up yep. more than 10%. Yep. Uh, of course, for InBev, it, it's a rounding error, $50 million US, but it's intriguing that they see a need to at least have some exposure to this market. Yeah, see, well, what, I'm, what I think is, is really interesting is what's going to be happening over the next six to nine months, because if there is a change in government in Ottawa, yeah. uh, you could see uh, an Andrew Scheer government perhaps limiting mm -hmm. the products that are legal uh, that are, are infused with cannabis. Right now, you can you can smoke and vape it. Yep. But beyond that, there's nothing else. All these other companies are staking their claim to the potential that the market could broaden. But you could see a conservative government come in and say, no, what's legal will be legal and nothing else. And all of these companies that are betting on the potential could be out, out, out in the cold. Yeah, that's right. I mean, the plan, uh, Justin Trudeau's plan, was a year after the legalization of bud and oil, then we get the edibles. But the edibles do raise safety concerns. You can overdose on the edibles. Uh, you take some gummy bears. Uh, and, oh, I'm not stoned enough. You keep taking them. Remember those cops in Toronto yeah. got into trouble? <laughs> anyway, let's not dwell on that. Uh, so that's, but of course, the likes of Altria and InBev would be looking at the global market. Sure. But yeah. sure, it would be a setback if, as you say, a, new, a conservative government, if they got elected and said, that's it, we're, we're putting a halt. We don't want more products coming out. But of course, that would still leave the field open to the illegal edibles, oh, which would right. defeat the purpose of the legislation. Andrew, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thanks a million.